Hey, it's Kim Darwaza here, your Northern Virginia Realtor. And uh, it's been a while since I've done a live market update. Not a whole lot has changed. It's still um, been kind of crazy week after week. And just to give you a few stats off the bat, for the NVAR region, which would be basically Fairfax County, Arlington, Alexandria, Prince William and Loudoun, we've seen an increase, a 7.3% increase in average sales price between uh, March of 2020 and March of 2021. And home sales are up 17.9% um, from this time last year. And that's for the NVAR region. And for Fairfax County, our average sales price is up 9.9% and our home sales are up 11.2% from this time last year. In March of last year was when the governor made the announcement. So a lot of people kind of just shut down that month uh, for a little bit just because it was sort of the peak, I guess, of the pandemic when you weren't supposed to leave your house clients. So I think it's it's definitely doubled in the last couple of week, weeks now that we're truly in spring. But on the same token, I have seen some price reductions. People are not willing to overpay for properties even in this market, even though people are getting out by bid five, six, seven, eight times is what I've heard. I'm mainly a listing agent. I do have some buyers, but I have had Buyers agents, you know, basically say, my my clients are willing to sacrifice child at this point, you know, just to get the house. I mean, and they joking around, but literally they're like, they've lost out five times. So it is, um, it is crazy. And the, the contracts that are winning are not only escalating 50, 100,000 over the list price, but they are also uh, waiving the appraisal contingency I received an offer on one of my properties where they waived everything, including the septic inspection. The one thing you can't waive in Virginia is if it's in an HOA or condo, um, and that's a 72 hour contingency. So that is the one thing you're not allowed to, to waive, but you can waive home inspection, you can waive appraisal, you can waive financing and all that good stuff. I'm also seeing some expired listings. Basically, I went on a listing appointment. Um, it's been like a few months at this point. I didn't get the listing. I was quite frank with the owners. They had like the original sort of Formica cabinets that I had in my apartment in College Park in Blacksburg. There was this like, and at the time it was like the nicest one. It was gated with like the pool and everything. We had these like Formica um, cabinets with the wood trim. And so I go in there and they have that and they put granite over top of it. And then they had tenants in there and the walls were just crazy paint colors. And I noticed when their um, things hadn't really been updated. And I noticed like when their photography came out, like they had like a table on their patio and there was like all these cleaning products and um, pots and stuff, like stuff I would have taken off before the picture was taken and, and, and put it back because that's what I do a lot of times is if people have things they need to use, like I'll just take it off for the pictures. I basically follow my photographer around and put it back. And that house expired. I, I didn't get the listing. They went with another agent, um, which was fine because I knew I couldn't sell it at the price they wanted in the condition and, and it expired and they, they didn't sell it. So people still unlike the last market, um, are not necessarily willing to pay for, for things like that. Um, and another thing I've seen that kind of drives me a little bit crazy is I listed a property earlier this year. It was in the Heights of Penderbrook, which is a condo thing, uh, complex. And stuff is sold. This model's there. I've sold for like $315. 320 330 and you get multiple offers and so I saw two listings come on less than three hundred thousand dollars that were like the same model updated same condition and so it's like these agents are pricing them low to get people to bid it up and I just personally don't agree with that I mean especially when stuff is sold like I I always tell my clients 
maybe list it what the last sale was or maybe a little bit higher because I don't I don't want to look at 75 contracts that are basically the same and then I feel like it's so bad for for buyers right now because they just it's really hard it's really disheartening for them because I'll say okay the sticker price is three fit you know you go to the car dealership and you get the sticker price you you're like oh you don't pay the sticker price you pay below the sticker price well when you're buying a house like that's a sticker price but you're you're not going to pay that so essentially if i have a client who's looking for a property like 350 is our max like before i'd say look at 350 or look a little bit above because maybe you can over oh uh offer less that was in the you know a year ago now i'm like okay i i think you should look at properties that are 300 because you're gonna have to escalate and it is what it is. So it's very, a lot of first time buyers are very disheartened right now and it's really sad for me. I don't like this kind of market. I like a more even market. So, but that's what's going on. Um, and I don't necessarily agree with how these agents are conducting their business, but to each their own. So those are my main points I had thought of something else but um yeah and I, I'm also telling people to you know one of the things um I've started doing some TikTok videos too I'm it's kind of a different audience I've had this notebook uh that I've had for years where I write down sort of like a I was always like I could write a book like a Bridget Jones diary kind of book but for real estate so I'm sort of sharing some of my crazy stories on that. Like for instance, people ask me if they should lock up their jewelry and I'm like, it's not your jewelry you have to worry about. It's your prescription drugs and your opioids. And now because it's coming more legal, weed and edibles, that's what people are ransacking people's medicine cabinets for at open houses. And I literally had a listing that had a tenant in it and I asked the agent for showing feedback and he said, oh yeah, it shows well, but you might want to tell the tenant not to leave their bong out on the living room table during showings. So I'm sharing some of those kind of things on my TikTok, which is like Kim Lentz Darwaza. I don't know why I did my middle name, but that's what I did when I set it up. So if you want to follow me on TikTok for things where I'm a little bit more off the cuff and maybe not as professional, uh, you can go over there and watch those. I think they're pretty funny myself, but some people might find some of the things I say offensive. So I, I'm just putting it out there. But anyways, thanks for watching. And if you, as usual, if you have questions, please, um, you know, call, text, email, PM me, and I will... Uh, be happy to answer your questions in one of my upcoming videos. Stay safe and stay healthy, everyone.